everyone. Hi, I'm Liz, and this is Penny. And this is Penny's first stage appearance. I think we're going to have to move over here. Penny, this is for you. Good girl, good girl. Good. Okay. <laughs> All right, so maybe we'll move over here a little bit. Okay, so I've lived um, in New York nearly 15 years, and for all of those 15 years, I've had a dog. And so I couldn't think of um, a better sort of set of advice to give to you tonight than to think about what I've learned by having a dog in New York City. Um, so that's what I'm here to share. A list of five. Penny. <laughs> Penny is only 10 months old, so bear with us here. Okay, so number one piece of advice. Patience. Everyone has a story to tell, and everyone is a potential playmate. Um, everyone is a potential playmate, and everyone has a story to tell. As far as I can figure, if I've lived in New York for 15 years, and I give a dog a walk five times a day, that means that I have talked to strangers 27,000 times, um, give or take 325. Um, so my advice to you would be embrace strangers, know that everyone has something interesting to tell, and give your dog a treat when she's crying. Um, the second thing I wanted to say is that some animals are mean, avoid them. So while the stranger thing is actually true and everyone does have a story to tell, some animals, including people, are actually not so nice. Surround yourself with people you love, people who love you, who are going to make you feel inspired and safe and warm. <laughs> and when you hear crying, those are the people you want to avoid. Okay. Um, so number three, size up an idea and throw yourself into it. Every morning, Penny and I run to Prospect Park, and we look at Prospect Park Lake. For several months, she looked at this lake, um, with a kind of mysterious awe. She didn't know exactly what this mysterious uh, surface was, what the other dogs were doing when they emerged kind of with this wet liquid on them. And so with enough research, she finally did, without warning, what the other dogs were doing, and she plunged into the lake, and she did the best, most earnest doggy paddle she could possibly muster. So move into your own ideas. Do the appropriate amount of research, and then just throw your weight into it. Throw your body into it, and do the best doggy paddle you can possibly do. Um, number four, roll on the, gra the grass whenever possible. Work hard, you know, kind of like embrace the things you love, and then roll all over it. You know, get in it and roll in the grass. And then last, when you love something, and do love something, someone, something, um, some hound, share it, show it, Put a leash on it, you know, um, hold its hand in public, let other people know about it, and um, bring it out there. Do that kind of with pride. And so I have to say, animals have changed my life greatly. Animals have taught me more about patience, um, remaining focused in the, the, the sort of face of, of chaos. So love them fiercely, love them madly, and when you see a patch of grass, get down and do a good roll. Thank you.